In Good Shape, your health magazine on DW, featuring an interview with a different expert every week. Dr. Kuhn, thanks so much for inviting me into your clinic. I'm a GP myself and I see lots of patients with muscle cramps, especially in the calves. So, so why is it the, that the muscle cramps happen in the calves? The muscle cramps usually occur after uh, physical exertion and um, so probably that's one of the reasons why it's in the calves. Um, yeah. Because we're doing exercise. We do a lot of legs. exercise, yes. Right. So, so what role does magnesium play? Many of my patients want me to prescribe the magnesium to get rid of the cramps. It has a role in treating uh, cramps, so uh, magnesium uh, is electrol one of the electrolytes that we need in our body and we get it from uh, liquids, from vegetables, and if the magnesium level is lower, then uh, cramps occur more often. And are the cramps actually originating from the muscle cells themselves or do they originate from the nerve cells? They originate from the nerves, and the nerves innervate the muscles and they activate our muscles. But if the nerves are hyperactive, then uh, our muscles can cr uh, get cramps. Okay, we got a lot of questions from our viewers. Um, Richard Swan from Sydney in Australia wants to know if um, organs can cramp as well. He means the heart, because the heart is a muscle. So can the heart muscle cramp and then we die? No, the heart muscle doesn't cramp. It's our uh, skeletal muscle that have these cramps and um, the other organs don't have um, the, the same type of uh, muscles. So, so do, do we need to be frightened when we have some muscle cramps? Are they, say, a sign for a more severe uh, disease? No, in general not. Of course, some diseases go along uh, with a higher likelihood of getting muscle cramps. But in general, if you have a muscle cramp at night, it's not a sign of having a very severe disease. So they're just painful and you can... They are painful, yes. You have to go through it and yes. take some magnesium. Yeah. That's it. You're specializing in a special form of cramps, which, are, which is called dystonia. What is dystonia all about? Well, dystonia is a movement disorder. Um, it's leads to abnormal positioning, posturing. There are different regions that can be affected. It can be uh, the eyes, so your eyelids, it's so-called blepharospasm, or even more often, it's your ha the head. So you can have a tilt of your head or rotation of the head as a cervical dystonia, but also um, a very specific uh, dystonia that only occurs um, with using your hand, like writing, so a writer's cramp, or musician dystonia when the pianist uh, plays and uh, gets a cramp or a dystonia of his fingers, uh, for example. But it can also be uh, the whole body affected, which we call then a generalized dystonia. That's the most severe form of dystonia. And is dystonia painful? Dystonia is painful as well because it is an abnormal positioning of your body and over the time uh, it gets painful for the patient as well. So dystonia, is it a very frequent disease? It's a rare disorder in general and it depends uh, whether it's a generalized dystonia that's really very rare, it's just 0.5% uh, of 100,000 and uh, the focal dystonias are slightly more often, like uh, the numbers are very different that's, uh, that are given, but uh, about 10 to 100,000. If you suffer from muscle cramps, they go away by themselves after a few minutes. But with dystonia, it's a total different story, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, dystonia is a completely different disorder. So they don't go away by themselves, but you can treat dystonia. Yes, you can treat dystonia and uh, for focal dystonia, which means only a specific region uh, of the body is involved in dystonia, they can be treated by botulinum toxin injections. So that means um, it is an injection into the affected muscles and it uh, inhibits the um, activation of the muscle and uh, thereby the dystonia is relieved. However, it's not completely uh, gone. So it's the same botulinum toxin or Botox you recognize from cosmetic procedures where people have wrinkles on the forehead, for example, and you just inject some Botox to get it flattened. So it's the same you do Absolutely. with Absolutely, it's the same, yes. Um, but we need it um, for the muscles that are involuntarily activated during dystonia. And um, usually it needs about three to five days uh, to start its action and then 
uh, after 10 to 12 weeks, so about three months, a uh, new injection has to be made. For a lifelong then? I yes. Yeah. So, so, but there is a different treatment option available next to the Botox treatment, which is called deep brain stimulation. What's yes. that? Uh, it's a new treatment option since um, about 25 ye years now and uh, it is a very effective treatment in patients with generalized or segmental dystonia. As you can imagine, you can't have your botulinum toxin injections all over the body and um, it is a treatment where we, or the neurosurgeon implants, uh, leads electrodes into the brain in deep brain structures of the so-called basal ganglia. Um, that are involved in the pathophysiology of dystonia. So it is a network disorder between the surface of the brain and deep brain structures that organize our action, our voluntary actions. And if there's a malfunctioning of this um, network, then the dystonia may develop. And um, by using these electrodes, we try to overcome these um, abnormal rhythms in the brain. So what you do so. is you put actually wires into the brain? Yeah, you put electrodes into the, pl into the brain, into the deep brain structures, and it's uh, then chronically stimulated um, with these stimulators that are implanted into the body, either below the collarbone or into the abdomen. And it's a very effective treatment to help patients with generalized or segmented dystonia. And they stay there for the rest of the life? Well, these stimulators, they, or they, they are rechargeable stimulator that can stay over several years and have to be recharged like once a week. And then there are um, batteries and they have to be exchanged. It depends on the current that's used, but um, three to five years, every three to five years. Thanks so much, Dr. Kuhn, for inviting me in your clinic today.